Hi guys, we're going to finish dividing fractions today. So I'll start with my organizer and I'm going to fill in this center part. So because just because the video before this we did part 1, we're going to call this part 2. So dividing fractions part 2. Now we have several examples that we're going to go through today and almost all of them um, are going to have some kind of mixed number that's in them and they're also sometimes going to have two of them. So we're going to start to get a little bit more complex in how we're solving things. So let's go to the first one. So for A, I have 6 and 8 over 12 divided by 1 over 12. Now when we're talking about what part of this fraction is kind of good to go, really only this part is. This first part, we're going to have to take it and change it to an improper fraction. Because the only way I can truly divide anything is if there's two fractions. So I'm going to have to go through changing this. So 12 times 6, I'm going to do this part right here. Oops. It's going to be 72 plus the 8 that's on the top is going to give me 80. So 80 over 12. The second fraction is completely okay. You do want to make sure it's set up in the appropriate way that both of these are fractions. Don't start doing your keep change flip until everything's in fraction form. So now that this is set up okay, I'm going to do keep change and flip. So now I just need to go and multiply across. So 80 times 12 is 960. On the bottom, 12 times 1 is 12. And we're going to take this part right here and we're going to go put it in Desmos. So 960 over 12. And you can see that comes out actually as a whole number of 80. So this equals, oops, 80. Okay, let's keep working our way through these. I want you just to have a variety of examples to use. So here is B. Nine and a half divided by a half. Now, like we were saying before, we want these to be two fractions. So the second one's okay. It's in fraction form. But this first one, because it's a mixed number, I'm going to want to take it and put it into improper form. So 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So it's going to be 19 over 2. Then I'm going to go through and do keep, change, and flip. And then I can multiply across. So 19 times 2 is 38. And 2 times 1 is 2. Now we're going to take this piece and put it in Desmos and see what happens. So 38 over 2. And that ends up being a whole number of 19. So we've seen a couple like that. I don't want you to be thrown off if that happens, but if it happens to actually go in evenly, then don't worry about it. Okay, let's go to the next one. So C. So I have six and a half divided by four and two fifths. So 
So now when I go to set this up, I know neither one of these is just a fraction. So I'm going to have to change both of these into improper. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So 13 over 2. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So now we have it set up with everything kind of in the right spot. Okay, now I'm going to do keep, change, and f oops, and flip. And now I can go ahead and multiply across. So on the top, I have 13 times 5, which is going to give me 65. And then on the bottom, I have 2 times 22, which is 44. Now we're going to take this back to Desmos and put it in. So 65 over 44 doesn't change. So it's as reduced as it can, but the top, because it is larger than the bottom, we're going to have to divide. So I'm going to go through and divide it out. So I know it's going to go in there once with 21 left over. So it's 1 and 21 over 44. Okay, now we're going to go to D. So for D, I have 9 and 2 fifths divided by 1 and 1 third. Now remember, we want it to be a fraction divided by a fraction, and this really isn't set up in that way. So I'm going to have to go through and change it from being a mixed number to being improper. So if I do this, 9 times 5 is 45, plus the 2 on top is 47, so 47 over 5. On this one, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So it's 4 over 3. Okay, now we're going to do keep, change, flip. And now we can go ahead and multiply across. So 47 times 3 is 141. And 5 times 4 is 20. Now I know that if I were to put this into Desmos, it's not going to reduce, but the top is larger than the bottom. So that means I'm going to have to go through and divide it. So the most times it can go in there is 7, which is 140, and I have 1 left over. So it's going to be 7 and 1 over 20. Okay, I want to look at one more, and we're going to call it good for today. So here is, oops, I guess we're going to try E. So four and a half divided by two and four fifths. So remember, we want to have our fraction divided by a fraction, and this isn't set up that way. So I'm going to have to go in and do my multiplying and adding. So two times four is eight, plus one is nine. So nine over two. To do the second one, 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 4 is 14. 
So 14 over 5. Okay, now keep, change, and flip. And then we can multiply across. So 9 times 5 is 45. 2 times 14 is 28. If I were to put this into Desmos, it doesn't reduce, but because the top is bigger than the bottom, I'm going to have to go through and divide it out. So it goes in there one time with 17 left over. So it's going to be 1 and 17 over 28. Okay, we'll do some more practice when we're back together.